belong to the Cambridge Union Society, uh, and it is a real honour to be able to introduce you to their our first guest, Theresa Turr, 2012. At such a vital and a difficult time for Theresa here, and one which is full of promise, we have with us today the President of the Republic of Albania. Dr. Fabian Toppi started out professional life uh, attending a degree of PhD in veterinary studies uh, and became a distinguished academic and scientific researcher before entering Parliament and being appointed uh, Minister for Agriculture and Food and then going on to lead his party, the Democratic Party, in the Albanian Parliament, uh, becoming its Vice Chairman and then in 2007 the elected President of the Republic of Albania. So if you could join us in welcoming uh, President Fami Atopi. Who 
to nationalist views which were not compatible at all with the modern philosophy of Europe. So when we usually bring up and speak about the Balkans, we will be very much pleased to change that term and speak about Southeastern Europe countries. This is not simply a random agreement of the words that we choose, an agreement made among the people. But it's related to the model that we use and bring forth. Whenever we speak about our region and our countries, we mean the deep aspiration shared by the South and Eastern countries to be part of the United Europe. Because in their old and ancient tradition, our countries, the countries of Southeastern Europe, can count upon a philosophy which is connected to the most developed Western parts of Europe. And whenever we bring up the political model which needs to be followed by us, of course, we mean the models shared and followed by the United Europe, by our uh, common future. Not many years have elapsed since Albania, but also other countries of Southeastern Europe came out and broke free from a harsh communist isolation. And there is not even an iota of doubt that Albania was the most isolated country among them. Where the freedom of thought and expression was private. And when there were many politically persecuted and imprisoned. And when at a certain stage, which could have been considered the harshest stage of the classes struggle, as it was called. We were forbidden to listen or to view even uh, foreign radios or television and their wavelengths were banned. In such countries, the effort that they made to change the system and of course, we experience in different countries of our region, we experience different physiognomies or demonstration of the political leadership behavior. They progress in parallel and they move forward alongside the efforts made by certain countries to build up their nationalistic identity. In certain cases, this process was accompanied or, or characterized by denying or violating the others who were different. Just a few days ago, the citizens or inhabitants of Srebrenica remembers a certain massacre which perhaps is the gravest massacre that took place in modern history of Europe. They just commemorated the 20th anniversary of the Srebrenica massacre. By attending a concert or by holding a concert which had 11,541 empty seats. And 
the very same number of the innocent victims that fell and succumbed due to an inter-ethnical war. Every year in Kosovo as well, those innocent victims due to the massacres or the genocide committed by the butcher of the Balkans, Milosevic, are commemorated as well. Seizing this occasion, we would like to demonstrate and pay our deep respect to the United States, to Great Britain and other Western countries who make possible for our countries in our region to come out and be free and alive from the genocide. So, Slovenia, Croatia, Romania, Bulgaria, and Pesca, at the present day, Slovenia, Croatia, Romania, Bulgaria are all part of the European Union. And there is no doubt that other countries will follow on the path towards European Union integration as well. As Albanians, we share this national pride, keeping in mind that Albania is one of 28 member countries of NATO. And there is the maximum efforts made by all the Albanian institutions in order to gain and deserve the candidate status to the European Union. Until the deep gate the go, the relations among the countries in the Balkans, of course, were very fragile. While at the present day, we can claim with pride that there are periodical meetings among the heads of states of the countries of Southeastern Europe. And from what my experience and what can, I can detect is that from these meetings is uh, a noticeable uh, phenomenon that the political leadership of the Southeastern Europe countries is definitely oriented towards European Union. The so consider on and the philosophy followed and implemented by the ultranationalistic circles at the present day is growing paler and paler and is being considered out of the context of time. There are new challenges relating to the economic growth that lay on the path of the countries of Southeastern Europe. And after February of 2008, Kosovo is a free, independent and sovereign country. Contrary to the views of certain skeptics, Kosovo at the present day is a very important factor contributing to the stability of our region. Someone can righteously claim and ask the question, is this kind of situation truly this calm in our region? Of course, the overall situation is calm, but they are not lacking certain destabilizing episodes that take place here and there. For the world communicating tone, not the effort, the new government. In order to make this lecture, this communication much more closer and in more concrete terms, to do it before the young people, only Isha may visit territory, Zurtare, non-Nigerian. 
I would like to inform you that just last week I conducted an official three days long visit to Macedonia. Invited for the second time to conduct an official visit during my presidential mandate. Of course, whoever is familiar with the protocol, that visit marked a very important instance to upgrade our relations. Your visit, of course, my visit to Macedonia offered me an immense pleasure because a considerable part of the Macedonian society is composed by Albanians. But my visit in Macedonia coincided and it took place just a few days later after a macabre assassination of five Macedonian youths. <coughs> there were five youths, fishermen in the lake, who were executed by an unknown criminal hand. <coughs> And the very first people who tried to make use and abuse of that event were those groups of ultranationalistic background. <laughs> By attempting and greatly increasing the sensitivity among the Western society. And all of this grew into a tension and clashes between different ethnicities. And by injecting or instilling a terror climate in the population belonging to the two ethnic groups. And certain circles belonging to the political class or to the media, even coming from Serbia, this case was tried to be dealt or to uh, cause the charges that uh, this is caused by the Albanians. During my visit, I had a very correct communication with the Macedonian authorities. Especially with the President of Macedonia, His Excellency Mr. Ivano. But also with important actors of the institutional life in Macedonia. By delivering the right messages, meaning that after every criminal deed, there is certain criminal who calls it. No matter who. And the other appeal was to leave alone the societies and free them from any kind of prejudice. And such messages, of course, caused and injected the climate of calmness among the Macedonian society. Shibria versus stability and the integrity of the Macedonians. Albania supports the stability and the integrity of Macedonia. Shibria versus and versus interesting the socialists and Macedonians and Macedonia both peace and arms and the Macedonian people. Albania strongly supports the interests and aspirations of Macedonia to become part of NATO as well. And in the situation, this is a tension war. The very same tension and build up tension situation can be detected also in Mitrovica in the northern Kosovo. And there are certain efforts in a constant manner from the political and ultranationalistic Serbian factor who tries to get involved in Kosovo. Of 
professor, sepse mi thash me njërë po. Initially the journalist was shocked, was surprised because I replied immediately with the yes. And he thought that he finally found the right answer that he was looking for. And I told him to hold on one second because I did not finish my reply. And I went on by telling the Serbian journalists that Albania will join Kosovo, but yes, under the symbolic of Brussels. The Europe is the other administrative Europe of the Bashkur, the Lesson is the Lesson of us. Meaning that Brussels is the administrative center of the United Europe and it also serves as the headquarters of NATO. So, you can join the journal of Serbia. And the same wish goes for Serbia, it is our wish. Don't say that it seems to go to Kusma. The proposition is not for Sakto, but not the job, for Tarn, not the job. Although, unfortunately, almost half of the Serbian population has not clearly expressed its view regarding the future of the country. I'm convinced that Serbia as well would uh, orient and project its future towards the West. Perhaps Albania uh, demonstrates the highest indicator or number supporting the integration of our country to the Euro Atlantic world. And these numbers they reach and they go almost to 94-96% of our population in favor. You are aware of the fact that Albania has two historical figures who for quite some time have touched upon the West and have uh, defended and come to the rescue of Christianity. And what I mean, most recent one, I mean George Castro Tannerbeck, our national hero. And until a few years ago, there was an enlightened figure which had Albanian blood and he was related to Albanian history, and I mean Mother Teresa, who belongs to the whole world. Without wanting to go on and on with my lecture and also to open the green light for any kind of interest or question you might have, lastly I would like to stress that the Albanian political class Throughout all these years of transition, the recent years have has demonstrated uh, quite a sharp political polarization. It would be different views regarding different issues, but when it comes down to the European integration path that would be followed by Albania, they speak in one voice. Ne politikantës, por dhe njerëzit që ka një farë moshke, e shikojnë të ardhën me shumë gratësë. We the politicians, but also the people of a certain age, they view and look at the future with a great deal of warranty. Dhe për ta më dyru një gjera më time, dhe të thëjë që më njëmë shumë i mundë të sëpë. And in order to conclude my remarks, I would like to point out the fact that I'm very glad today. By noticing and observing once again and reiterating this trust and faith that I have upon the safe future of Albania and other countries as well of our region. At a certain time, someone had no means and opportunities to travel abroad. Well, only today I had the chance and opportunity to meet uh, quite a few large numbers of Albanian students. 
who are lucky enough to study here in Cambridge. This, of course, means a great luck to them, a great opportunity to them, but also offers an extraordinary premise safeguarding the future of Albania. Perhaps at the present day, the Albanian students are not that conscious regarding the mission that has been bestowed upon their shoulders. A mission which they are already carrying out regardless of their young age. Because they represent the young face of Albania. Young men and young ladies who are extremely serious regarding their studies. And we touched upon this a little while ago that the biological age for human beings is extremely limited. And no doubt the turn of this young generation would come knocking on the door very quickly. In order for each one of them to take and grab in their own hands the fortunes of our country. And the fortune of a certain country is not simply determined or set by the president or by the main institution. The fortune of a certain country lays upon the intellectual extract which is increasingly becoming better and better. I told the Slovenian students that they might should feel obligated towards their parents for their sacrifices, but I in the quality of the President of the Republic of Slovenia. <coughs> would be very grateful to Great Britain would also be very grateful to the authorities leading the Cambridge College who have dealt and treated the Albanian students with the greatest of respect and affection. And of course, such a result would be a guaranteed one during the upcoming years. In a sign of gratitude for this way of behavior, which is very human but also very professional, I have come here by bringing also a sign, a token of appreciation, which is an exclusive right of the President of the Republic. In order to bestow a medal upon your college, Dr. Savage, with the medal of gratitude. And uh, it is my wish that after the question and answers would uh, be concluded, I would like to bestow it officially upon you. I would like to thank you all for your attention. Of course, there are countless issues to be discussed. A predisposition, natural, genetic, ishitarve, pretend, pies, epandar, euros. But I would have liked to stress out that uh, genetic and natural predisposition of the Albanians to be part of Europe. Never let us be college history. May this college enjoy honor and glory, historical college at that. Thank you, sir.
time and it's weird to talk all about stewards in the other jackets bring to your microphone. Uh, it won't amplify it, but uh, it will help us with the recording of the event. So um, you can wait for the microphone before deciding the question. Um, and now, please, hang on back to ask something, please. Forget that then. Unchangeable and irreplaceable reality. 
And not just, just because we claim it, but Kosovo at the present day has been recognized by almost 90 countries, including the United States, Great Britain, and many of the European Union countries. And many events that are being unfolded during recent times are directly connected to the presidential election that will take place in Serbia. And when we hear and find out that when the polls were taken, the nationalistic are doing fairly well, this does not offer any good news to us. This is an issue that belongs to the civil society. It's not our issue. We do not interfere. To orient on definitive vision of Serbia. It's our wish that the Serbian society, another society of Southeastern Europe, to be definitely oriented towards the West. Albania can count upon a large number of young ladies and young men. 
and uh, their country is welcoming them with open arms in every moment. And in order to pull them back or attract them or make them hear the call of the wild, their native country, there are institutional policies.
right? So after a certain period of time, Albania demonstrated and showed some very positive economic indicators. As a small country, lay uh, between or among the countries that are greatly suffering from the economic financial crisis, such as Greece and Italy. These two countries are unfortunately are feeling the economic crisis, but fortunately for us, we are still preserving positive economic indicators. Living in the global world, the injanda situated in epidemiological, the virus is not difficult to get rid of, but it is not contagious. And uh, our world resembles to the situation when the virus, which has been spreading in certain areas, would be spread also in different areas and would be carried off. And uh, then, in the end, how clinical the case would be, that depends upon the individual immunity. And no matter how unpleasant the financial situation might look, it is my hope and wish that this difficult stage in Europe and elsewhere will be passed. Thank you. That, um, thank you again, Mr. President, for coming to speak to the
including those from Albania, will be the leaders of tomorrow. Their generation will govern nations, manage international business, and shape the lives of their own children. It is a great privilege for me to receive this honour today, and I do so on behalf of all the staff and students at Katz College. In return, we would like to present a small gift to the President to mark the occasion of your visit to Cambridge and to express our sincere gratitude to him and the Presidential Party. We look forward to the continuation of our close and healthy relationship with the people of Albania and we shall continue to work together for the greater good of all. On a personal note, I understand that yesterday was a special day for you, your birthday. And all of us here would like to wish you a very happy birthday and a happy return, or as I should say, Gazua Gitulindia. I'm just going to put it up. I'm just going to put it up. Yeah.